All right, this is grade three, module three, lesson 14. And I have to use this video. Hello. Um, because uh, I need to show you some visuals with my hand in a second. Now, uh, what we're doing in lesson 14 is we're still practicing learning our nine times tables. And what's really cool, I can look in here. What's really cool is that we have a bunch of really cool techniques and you as the student get to choose uh, which technique works best for you. And I'm going to share a, a, a re refresh our memory of a couple. I'm not going to do all of them. And then I'm going to show you a new one with your fingers for how you could do your nine times tables. So uh, a couple of recaps. So first, we learned that there's a really cool pattern in our nine times tables that we could do nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And, and then over here, uh, well, and then zero. And then over here, we could do nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And that this is our nine times tables. So you've got Right here, you've got nine times one is nine, nine times two is 18, nine times three is 27, nine times four is 36, nine times five, nine times six, nine times seven. So you get the idea. So this is a really cool one. It helps you get the answer, nine times 10, helps you get the answer pretty quick. If you're doing a bunch of nine times tables, you could just line them up, and write the pattern down. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And there's your nine times tables real quick. Now, another trick that we learned is we learned that, okay, if you're gonna do like uh, nine times seven, we learned that the tens place is always going to be one less. And then these two numbers, the tens place and the ones place, have to have a sum of nine. So six plus three is nine. So nine times seven is 63. You take the seven, you do one less, you get six, and then you say six plus what gives us nine. So let's practice. Let's do like nine times four. Um, so 9 times 4, you take the 4, 1 less than 4 gives you 3, and then 3 plus what gives you 9? Oh, 3 plus 6. Oh, that's a coincidence. And then uh, let's, do, uh, uh, let's do 9 times, uh, oh, let's do 9 times 8. Okay, 1 less than 8 is 7, and then 7 plus what gives us 9? So 7 plus 2 is nine. So that's another technique for how to memorize or how to learn your nine times tables. Now here, I'm going to show you a really cool um, finger trick. Uh, so let's do uh, nine times three. Now, of course, we already know the answer because it says so over here, but let's do nine times three. So what I'm going to do, you put your hands out like this, and then you count, starting from the left, you count three. One, two, three, and then you put that finger down. So I'm going to kind of put that finger down. And then what I can see to the left of that purple line, to the left of the purple line is two. So think 20. And then to the right of that purple line, of the finger that went down, I have seven fingers. I have five on this hand plus these two right here. So that's seven. So the two on the left equals 20, and then the seven on the right is seven. So the answer is 27. So let's practice with one more. Let's do uh, nine times six, all right? Nine times six. So here's my hand, and I'm gonna count over six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this thumb, is my six, so I'm gonna put it down. And now I can see to the, to the left of the finger that went down, I have five, so I'm gonna think 50. And to the right of the finger that went down, I have four, so I have 54. So it's kind of weird, because to the left, you're thinking in terms of tens, 
And to the right, you're thinking in, of, in terms of ones. So when you count over six fingers, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's my six, and I got 54. And let's practice one last one. Oh, let's do uh, four. So let's do nine times four. All right, so here's my 10. And I'm going to count over four, four fingers. One, two, three, four. So my pointer is the four finger. So I'm going to put it down. And to the left, I have three fingers, so that's 30. And to the right, I have six fingers, so that's six. So nine times four is 36. And that is three really cool tricks for how to memorize your nine or how to learn your nine times tables. You've got this really cool pattern right here, the nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one pattern. You have right here the really cool pattern, which is the minus one, and then what do you have to add to get nine? And then you have this really cool finger trick right here that, man, I would love it for you guys to practice. Um, Maybe one of these days I'll show you uh, another trick that not only helps you with your nines, but the trick also shows how to do your sixes, your sevens, your eights, and your nines. So I can show you that one of these days if you're nice to me. Um, so good luck. That is grade three, module three, lesson 14.